three stamps. Gotta test them, see how they look. Let's go. Here we go. So here's the egg, the pretzel, which is, uh, it looks a little faded because I didn't, I just found where my uh, baron was kind of at the last minute. And the donut. And I think they all look pretty good. Ugh, this phone. And then I like the egg too. My mom didn't know what the egg was. <laughs> so I don't know if it's because he doesn't look like an egg or what. So let me know, which one's your favorite? I think I'd like to make some more, just for funsies. I just did them in my sketchbook just to test them, but now I think I'd like to do them all on some paper. So let's do that, shall we? like them just black and white. I always kind of just think they look more dynamic with some color in them. This is, so I use um, an actual like block printing ink to print with, to print with, oh my god, to print with, um, block printing ink to print with. The benefit of that over acrylic is that it stays like open longer um, so it's not gonna like dry and block up my stamp and um, it's also just going to stay wet like on the palette longer so I just have a longer time like if you're doing additions it's important but I think what I might do now is clean up my stamps clean up my ink and then get some colors out and do some color prints I also just printed this onto watercolor paper um, and then and then I have another idea that I kind of want to do tonight but it's easier if I show you what I mean so hang on so you guys remember this the cat I did with the two silhouettes so I kind of want to do this idea, and there's also one over here. I want to do that for these guys and see how that looks. So I also want to do that tonight. First order of business, I got to clean up my mess. I'm working later in the day, which is unusual for me. Usually I kind of start in the morning, but my day was kind of weird and now I'm working uh, in the evening here. It's a really nice Monday night. And we've had really good weather the past couple of days, which has been fantastic. It's been like the longest winter ever in Vancouver. If you're wondering what happened here. This was, I did this when I was cutting the egg. Um, I slipped, my little lino cutter slipped and the blade just like sliced in and like deep <laughs> into my finger, but it's like at the tip. So it's not like really deep, but if it had been, it got somewhat deep. Um, so we like super wrapped my finger. <laughs> no blood got on the blade or the egg though. So that's a good thing. Be careful when you're cutting lino. <laughs> you could cut yourself. <laughs> further I want to have a, a somewhat serious interjection here and so that you know that I'm going to talk about something personal I didn't do art all day today um, well that's not true I did cut out the egg and when that happens I feel weird this in one of my previous videos creativity is something that really fuels my overall happiness and if I've gone through periods in my life where I haven't been creative and have suffered because of it creativity is so ingrained in who I am and who a lot of us are and in ways that doesn't even necessarily mean art the way that I feel right now as I'm like painting like I'm just painting, you know, and making prints and doing this video and I'm watching YouTube videos and I just feel so content and the most like myself when I'm in this mode. 
where my imagination gets to come and play, basically. Um, I mean, I'm thinking about art projects even when I'm not doing art and thinking of ideas, but when I actually sit down to do them, it's an entirely different feeling and it's a very full, whole feeling. And there are days when I'm sad, or I'm distracted, or I'm discouraged, or there's other stuff going on, and the last thing on my mind is art. And I think on those days, when I'm like, when I'm waking up in the morning and I'm feeling sad or discouraged, I think that this feeling now, I have to keep it in mind and tell myself, when you get out of bed, this is what waits for you. So the sooner you get out of bed and get to this, the happier you're going to be. And so that's maybe my advice. I don't know if it's advice, it's just something that I was thinking about as I was sitting here doing art, like, there is no better feeling than honoring my creativity. So, I painted the backgrounds, I'm gonna let them dry. I have three pieces of paper here, and I'm going to do some prints that are similar, that are similar to this. Let's do it. Can you film me? But you can come in. Um, I just wanted to tell you I will do dishes tomorrow. Okay. But so just leave them and I'll do them. You wanna see my prints? Yeah. Oh they're cute. Right? Yeah. They're really cute. Thank you. I'm gonna make the this is like what I did before the cat, mm -hmm. and then I'll print them in black in the middle. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This? Just with acrylic. Yeah. prints here. They look pretty alright. This guy needs a third, so he's going in the stack with the cats that still need to be printed. And now I'm gonna print these guys and then that'll be it for the night. There's a couple of parts where I fixed the line because the line didn't show all the way, so I just fixed it with Sharpie oil marker. Actually, it works pretty well, so I might fix it on that one too. But so this is my work for the evening. These guys I'm gonna let dry overnight so that I can maybe paint on them tomorrow. The thing with this block printing ink is it reactivates really easily, um, so it's actually it is hard to paint or like use markers with and stuff. Do you notice, I mean, you can see the quality here. They're printed on two different surfaces. This is on watercolor. This is actually on printmaking paper, which I think the acrylic would look better on the watercolor. I just think that it generally is easier to use the correct ink and not acrylic. Um, so that'll be an investment that I make someday. Um, As always, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hit subscribe. You'll see more videos like this one, more videos where I make more prints. Let me know in the comments below which of these prints that you really enjoy and what I should put googly eyes on next. A suggestion for an ice cream cone? I was thinking since this is a fried egg I would do bacon and a cup of coffee. Uh, I will start making shirts again soon. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.